welcome to this new series of motivational talks with Adana. I was feeling very inspired by the amount of questions that I get and the responses that I've had to give and I thought to myself there are probably more of you out there who have the same questions and the best way to reach a lot more people was to start this series. So a lot of people want to know how I managed to do everything that I'm doing and still appear to be on top of my game. I'm in medical school at the moment, I'm doing YouTube, I'm taking language classes to improve my German, I'm still managing to find the time to go to the gym. These are a few of the things that I'm doing and I still manage to find the time to do it. The first thing I'd like to say to address this is, if you really want to do something, you will find the time and if you don't want to do something you'll find an excuse it's as simple as that how passionate are you about the things that you really want to do passion is the main drive if you feel really passionate about something it almost becomes effortless or natural to pursue them the first thing is what are the things that you would like to do what do you want to change about yourself? If you've come up with the things that you would like to do in order of priority, the next step is making a plan. How are you going to tackle everything on your list? Why are you doing the things that you're doing? And what is the end goal? The work lies within you. What do you spend your time doing? How many hours do you sleep in a day? Do you spend your time sleeping throughout the afternoon? Before you know it, the day is gone is a known fact there's no successful person who sleeps throughout the day most successful people wake up really early and go to bed late so if you spend your time sleeping throughout the day there is no way that you're going to achieve any of the things that you've planned and then when you're awake what do you spend your time doing one example that i i think i've mentioned this in a previous video is when it comes to TV shows, really, uh, and I'm relating that to like a personal experience, I've had to cut down on the amount of TV shows that I watch because those things are time consuming. The minimum episode that you would see lasts 30 minutes. I think about these days where there's loads. I'm not even going to go into mentioning the ones that I think are awesome, but there are loads of TV shows that at the end of two hours that you've spent staring in front of a computer, when you've closed your computer, you have nothing to take away. You have no lesson learned, you have no experience gained, you've just closed your laptop and it's another day gone. The next step is having a positive support system. Emphasis on positive. Because the danger is once you bring up ideas that people don't understand, or you bring up ideas that people are intimidated by, the first natural reaction is negativity. People start to plant seeds of doubt into you and at that point you're at your most vulnerable state. So once you're getting discouragement from loved ones or from people who you think should be there to support you, the disadvantage is you end up slacking. You start doubting yourself and then you ask yourself, well, yeah, maybe they, they, my family or my friends don't think it's a good idea, so I'm not going to do it. That is the worst thing that can happen to you. You need to surround yourself with people that would say to you, I'm standing by you whether you fail or whether you succeed. Because not every plan will succeed. Everyone knows this. Not everything you venture into will succeed. But failure is not the end. It's not the amount of times you fall, it's the amount of times you're able to pick yourself up and get back on the track. But without trying, you will never know. There's something that I read recently, and it says good experiences are formed by good decisions, and good decisions were formed by bad experiences. So if you take a risk and you fail, you learn from every failed experience and with, with that experience you're able to come up with a better decision for the next time that you attempt but if you don't try you just will never know i used to say this to my, to my little sister like i told her like whenever you're confused about something 
even if it's going to ask someone for something and you're very scared that you're going to get a no or you want to try something but you don't know that you're going to fail I say to her it's a 50 50 chance right if you take a risk there's a 50 chance that you will fail and there's a 50 chance that you would succeed I always love to go with the 50% chance that I might succeed because if I do not try I automatically have a hundred percent chance of failure so you need to surround yourself with people that would encourage you once you've come up with brilliant ideas every thing that every new challenge that I decide to take up in my life I say to myself if I decide to stop this tomorrow let that be my decision by no means I'm not saying that you shouldn't get advice from anyone no man is an island you do need support but the best support that you can get is people who will encourage you people who will say to you look if you fail I'm still here with you and I'm fortunate to have that kind of support and maybe that's another reason that I'm able to be on top of my game with the things that I've decided to do. When it comes to my personal life, just people wanting to find out how I'm managing married life with med school and the rest of them. I'm married to someone who does not stereotypically think that certain roles are made for women. We're both feminists. There is nothing that David would think this is your role to do this and there is nothing that I think is his role to do it and strictly speaking when it comes to housework for example because that's when the stereotype comes in when women are expected to cook and expected to clean I'm not talking about being a mother that's different because from the female instinct you you want to be the one taking care of the child so in this case I'm not going to trade my roles with a man but it's when it comes to laundry taking out the trash all the petty housework that have been stereotyped to be women's role I do not experience that because my husband is a feminist and I'm a feminist as well when we feel like doing stuff we do it no there's no role that is defined so um, I guess that's an advantage I'm not saying that applies to everyone but this is just addressing the question of people wanting to find out how I'm managing to do things I'm going to conclude this video by saying the fact that you see people appearing more successful than you are is not because that they're better than you is not because they're more special it's probably because they are working harder towards their plan it's up to you you're special you have the strength in you you just need to prioritize make a plan get up and work towards achieving your plan i hope you've enjoyed watching and see you in the next episode bye there is no point applying to the top five universities in the country when you know that you don't have the grades to get in you need to be practical